literally how it all started was I woke up one day I was like I want a fun job I want a new job I'm gonna apply to Sephora and I'm gonna get it period hello good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are what time it is welcome back to my channel so today is a pretty exciting day i actually just woke up not too long ago um i'm really excited i was not able to sleep last night but I'm sure today's gonna be an amazing day. So I wanna just take you guys along my day with me. I'm going to beat my face to the gods because that's what the girls said on the YouTube is to beat your face to the gods. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna beat this joint. And after the interview, I'll let you guys know how it goes, how it went, what they asked me, yada, yada, yada. Oh, so yeah, I'm really excited. Don't know where it is, but yes, I'll catch you guys an update after and let you guys know how it went. Okay, so it's update time, you guys. I got the job. I got the job at Sephora. I'm so excited. And the store is it's back there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, it's super cute. I thought it was going to be one in the mall. But it's a nice standalone. The storefront is gorgeous. It's huge. I've never seen this location, but I used to work down the street from here, which is so funny. I'm so happy. So I need to talk to you guys about the question that they asked me. I'm going to wait till I get back home. Please. I'm about to fall out. They asked me some really different questions that I was not expecting. Like, I literally had to think. Your girl is excited. It's been lit. I literally, I literally manifested it. I manifested this thing. I said, you know. What started was, I woke up one day. I was like, I want a fun job. I want a new job. I'm going to apply to Sephora and I'm going to get it. Period. I just told myself I was going to get this job and I made it happen. I did the research, even though I didn't even need to use any of the research during my interview. But we'll talk more about that. Uh, yeah, I just was determined. I believed that I was going to get it. I literally said it to myself. I envisioned myself already there. And your girl is now going to be a Sephora employee. I'm lit. It's lit. I'm excited. <laughs> so... So let me go through like the whole process. So I applied last week. I got a call back. So today's Tuesday. So I applied last week on like Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it was like Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. I applied Wednesday, Thursday. I actually called the locations before I applied just to make sure that they were hiring. So I was like, I really like want to work there like, ASAP so let me just see how how urgent the hiring process is right now so I called they said yes we're hiring do to do I was like okay bet so I like adjusted and uh, added and like changed up my resume made it more you know pleasing to the position um, I put in as much experience that I had as far as like beauty how I worked with different beauty beauty brands to help them create like reels help them create like their social media content 
you know, stuff like that. I added those little things with air. I drew my, uh, like a headshot picture with a full face on my resume. So I really like made it geared, and it was black and white too, I made it geared just to Sephora. Um, and I sent that in, I applied to like every location that was near me. Um, and yeah, so I did the application, sent it in, waited, and I was like, you know, if I don't get a call back, so it was this, this week, right? I was like, if I don't get a call back, I'm gonna just go there. I was like, hey, so I submitted an application, what's up? That was my plan. So, um, Monday came and I was just studying for some other stuff I have going on and I got a call that said Sephora and I was like oh schneel so I was like oh, stay calm so I answered the phone I was like hello Shelly speaking how may I help you no no no, no. I was like hello and they were like hello can I talk to, can I speak to Shelly and I was like oh this is she hi how may I help you as for she was like oh I got your application um I just want to talk to you a little bit more about the position. And so she asked me a few questions and over the phone she asked me like what my experience was. She had my resume pulled up so she was asking about the stuff on my resume. Um, and then it seemed like she was interviewing me on the phone like right when she called me. Like it just went right into questions. Um, she was asking what type of what am i most comfortable with as far as skin and makeup what would i how would i rate myself as far as skin care on a scale of one to ten i said eight and a half um she asked how long i've been doing makeup for what kind of makeup I, what kind of makeup experience that i have what my availability was like and um yeah we're just really great vibe great conversation very easy flowing um what else did she ask me then she said this may sound strange or bizarre but can you come in tomorrow at two and i was like oh, let me let me check my schedule yes yes i can i can come in tomorrow at two so what did i do the next day i came in at two so in between us being on the phone and then me getting to the location the next day which was today um I, you know, we wrapped up the conversation. It was great, good energy, good vibes, da da da. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to get this job, like, for real. So I was like, I need to do research. I need to, like, know, like, what is the protocol? Because I know a few people that actually did work at Sephora. So I just went to their pages, kind of like scoped their page, scoped their vibe. And I was like, okay, yeah, I can get what you guys. Glassdoor, Google. Um, what else did I use? Yeah, just researching the internet. I just really googled like different questions that they would ask, what to wear. So, obviously, I wore all black. Um, I beat my face, you know, to the gods, like I say, beat my face. Then I did my hair nicely. I put these press ons on because my nails were not giving. So, um, just threw these babies on today and do 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 yeah and then i just went i didn't bring in a resume i didn't bring in like a portfolio or anything i just went in by myself just me and my vibe that was it just me and my vibe so i went in and of course you know how sephora is hello welcome how are you how can we help you that is takes me back i meet with um the person that interviews me and she was so sweet i was like oh my gosh you're really better in real life wow so we really hit it off we had great conversation and the interview was even though she was like throwing questions at me like back to back questions it was still conversational like i still made it like cool calm conversation like you know little laughs here and there really smiley really friendly although we did have masks um i didn't wear my mask but Okay, so yeah, so the questions she asked, so let's get into the questions because this threw me off. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. This threw me off. I said, hey, when is she gonna ask the questions that I was Googling, that I was researching, that I was writing down? Never asked any of the questions that I saw on the internet. I was like, well, damn. I mean, I still felt prepared, but I was just like, so when are you going to ask me about the brands? When are you going to ask me about which perfumes that I know? When are you going to ask me about the different skincare or whatever? Didn't ask me any of that. 
So I was like, okay, cool. I just had to really just think quick and um, answer to the best of my knowledge. When I answer these questions, I really try to not, uh, I try not, I try to not like prolong the answer. Just keep it sweet and to the point. Like, here's a scenario that happened. This is what happened. This is how I did it. Boom. Happy ending story. That's it. Like, literally, that's how I go with my interviews. Um, okay, so she asked me probably like eight questions, and like, towards like the seventh question, or yeah, like maybe like the fifth question, she was like, I really like how this is going, honestly. I'm gonna skip a few of these questions because it's just been going really great so far. So, obviously, I was doing good in the interview. Um, she's heard enough, she's like, I I'm sold. But there were more questions for her to ask. I guess she just didn't ask all of them. So I'm just going to share the questions that I actually remembered. The first question was, tell me about a time where you experienced a challenging client and how you went above and beyond for them. Second question was, how did you deal with the situation where you didn't know what to do and what did you do? Tell me about a time you changed a stereotype about yourself. Tell me about a time where you experienced different cultures. Tell me about a time how you, when you weren't clear on information you were given and how did you go about understanding it? A lot of behavioral based questions. So I feel like this was asked mainly because based on like my resume, I guess my resume spoke for itself enough with enough beauty and skincare background that she didn't really need to ask me any questions like that. I'm not really too sure, but I noticed that about the questions that they were all like, how would you behave in this kind of situation? Or describe a situation that you were in that was like this and what did you do? So really just to gauge how I uh, react and how I manage and um, handle certain situations um and then at the end of the conversation she was like yeah this is great i really love your i really like you know what you have i love that you're able to have general knowledge and so right now it seems like sephora is mainly trying to hire people that have knowledge in skincare and knowledge in makeup so that they can like be able to cater and give their clients a 360 experience. So be able to help your client with their skin regimens, but then also help them do and choose the best products for so their makeup. End of the conversation, she goes, thank you so much. I would really love to hire you and add you to the team. Um, you know, I'll send over the documentation. We went over pay, we went over availability one more time. And um, yeah, and that was it. And that was it so I literally got hired during the interview yeah so my experience was great I really want to just say shout out to God really without God I want to do something fun I want to do something with makeup which is what I love and I love people so I'm like I get to help people I get to do makeup and I get to look cute <laughs> what sign me up sign me up immediately <laughs> immediately <laughs> so I keep watching this YouTube channel I really hope that you take heed and that you have the best of luck. You're going to do amazing. I would say my top three pieces of advice is we're all black. Stay comfortable. Be confident in your responses. Keep it short and sweet to the point, like I said. And be yourself. So that pretty much wraps it up for my Sephora job interview experience. So if you're out there and you're getting ready to go on to this job hunt, you got this. You can do it. I believe in you. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. And if there's anything else that you guys would like to know more about Sephora and my experience with them, I am more than willing to make another video about it. Bye!